Hi, welcome to Counselor's Corner. My name is Craig Hawkins. I'm a counselor at Midland High, and this is Lori Halber, counselor at Dow High. We're here today to talk about some things that are important for the month of September. First thing, obviously, is students are coming back to class. They're excited to come to school. We're excited to have everybody. And academics start pretty, pretty quick. Now, if your student is doing great in school, the beginning of the year, that's wonderful. But sometimes in the transition, whether it's from eighth grade to ninth grade or fifth grade to sixth grade, whatever that may be, sometimes students start out slow and they may struggle a little bit. Well, we're here to help with that. One thing we want to do is to have every student start out the year well. So there are a lot of different things that students can do to start out and have a successful beginning of the year. If they are having problems, we want them to make sure they contact their teacher, say, I'm having problems, I'm not understanding what's happening. And there are a lot of things that can happen on the teacher standpoint. They can spend more time with them, they can meet with them before school, after school, whatever works in both of their schedules. Also, in counseling, we can help students that begin the year and struggle. There is tutoring available, so we would like them to come down and see us. And again, we can help set up tutoring without any cost to the parent. That's done through our National Honor Society students. Also, if they are having problems, say they've, they've failed a class, if they're a sophomore or junior, we can do a couple of different programs for them to recover some of their credits. E2020, which is an online program that we have for upperclassmen, they can make up those credits. So there are a lot of things we can do to try to help students start out the year well, be successful, but we need them to come and see us and also talk to the teacher to make sure that that happens as well. All right, so we're thinking about this school year, but seniors are already thinking about next school year. They're thinking about what college they want to apply to and where they might want to attend for their graduate classes. Um, the college applications are being completed right now by seniors, and we use October 31st, or Halloween, as our deadline. But the more competitive the college is, the earlier that students want to get those applications in. Most applications are done online, and there are a few that are done through what's called the Common App. This application, students will check the box to which schools it'll send to, which in Michigan is University of Michigan, and then many out of state as well. But for this application, as well as many other college applications, students need letters of recommendation. They should ask their teachers a few weeks in advance so that they have time to, to write a nice letter. And along with asking a teacher to write a letter of recommendation for them, they should also give the teacher a, a resume or a listing of activities that they've been involved in just to help give the teacher or whoever's writing the letter a little more information about each student. Then after the student has done their application, they'll want to go to parchment.com. It's how we send the high school transcripts to colleges along with the application. Now if students are still trying to decide which college they're interested in, at Northwood University on October 3rd there is college night and there will be a lot of different representatives from in-state and out-of-state colleges and students can go and talk to them, pick up information and just find out a little bit more about each college. And another important thing going on in September, we have the PSAT test which is actually an October test but the PSAT is a practice SAT test and the SAT test is one of those exams that colleges use for their entrance requirements. Also the ACT is another test that they use. So the PSAT, which is a junior test that students, juniors will take at the beginning of that junior year, like I said, in October. But we start registration at the end of September and that registration process is done in the schools. It's done where they register at their individual high school and also there's a $15 payment that they will make at the high school. So all that is done internally. And that's an important test for kids, uh, particularly juniors that are looking to go on to college. It's a good practice standardized test. So again, if you're interested in doing that, you just need to register at the individual high schools. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in for the October session as well. But that essentially goes from the end of September, the registration process, until October 10th. And we'll have a lot of announcements at the high schools, so your juniors will know. They'll know where to go. They'll know the whole process that's involved. Um, another part that we want to make sure that students know is how do you get in to see us? Some of the upperclassmen, they're old pros. They know exactly how to do that. But some of the younger students may not exactly know. 
So at Midland High, because both those high schools are a little different on how that happens, at Midland High, students can come in and see their counselor anytime they want to. Our door is always open. But they need to come down to the counseling center, and there is a slip that they will fill out. There's a blue box right there that they put that slip into, and in that, on that slip, they put their counselor's name, what they would like to see us about, and we have different bullets that they can check. They put it in the blue box, and then we get it, and we will send a pass for them in one of their hours for them to come down and see us. So that's the process in order to see one of the high school counselors at Midland High. And at Dow High, students will come into the counseling center, which is right next to the main office. And they will talk to Kim Clark, our office professional, and she has our calendar. She'll find out what hour works best for that student and put their name down and we will send them a pass. So students should go to class first, then they'll receive a pass to come and see us and then um, they'll be able to meet with their counselor and we'll sign the pass and send them back to class then. That's this, this month's edition of Counselor's Corner. Please join us again next month for other important high school news.